Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ollie here from CryptoVest.com. Today is the 25th of September and we're going to be looking at Cardano trading against Bitcoin over 4 hour candles initially. Um, the crypto market has taken a bit of a downturn, so um, starting the week off bearish. We had a really good week last week. We you know, really pushed through with some great bullish results. You know, Ripple was up um, by over 100% throughout the week. Stellar was doing particularly well and Cardano as well. So you can see actually we found the bottom quite recently. Um, at this support level here at around sort of 950, 960 sats. We sort of double bottomed here and pushed on. We'll have a look at that a little bit closer. Um, but overall, looking at the general trend, Cardano is still in this sort of falling wedge pattern. Uh, it's been tracking inside of since sort of May time. We're still here. I mean, we're, we're now retesting this sort of downtrending resistance for the third time. Um, the last time we sort of managed to get to this point was way back in July over two months ago. Um, so we've tested the resistance. This is the third time, but we've actually been bouncing on the support. Um, this will be the fourth time. So um, all eyes are really going to be on it at the moment. There's a lot of pressure on the balls um, at this stage. Uh, and that could be a, sort of attributing why we're, we're sort of seeing a bit of a downtrend right now is perhaps confidence is being tested. Um, but you can see um, very recently after this double bottom, so let's pick it up from here um, on the 18th of September, actually shot all the way up to 40% gain in five days. So a huge gain. We looked like we were going to actually break through this uh, this resistance. However, just as we sort of peaked over that level, we shot back down and we found ourselves inside um, this resisting channel for a while. Um, support broke quite quickly uh, and you can see right now we're at around 1200 sats. Um, we've kind of got, if we zoom in, we've got a bit of a uh, inner support, a very very soft support here, where you can see uh, as the assets try to break back up again, um, it's around the so sort of 1,170 sats mark. It was a resistance here. We bounced back and then we hit it again. Went back, hit it again, and then broke through. So I think this level will be a quite key support. And you can see just the wicks haven't quite gotten to here yet. Um, but this is already starting to push back. We see a green candle starting to appear. So perhaps um, sort of momentum can start picking up in the bull's favour. This may have been just a very slight correction, as you can see. We're still travelling up. The 50 EMA is still starting to arc its way towards the 200 EMA. It's starting to sort of slack off a little bit. Um, but overall, on four hour counts, it's looking quite good. If we look over a closer range over two hours, you can see we're actually still above the 200 EMA. And I think over two hours, if this crosses below the 200 here, um, then that would be a, a good sign to maybe get out because. Um, the bears are starting to win, but for now, I think this is just a bit of a correction. Um, this support hopefully should catch uh, any drops if we do sort of bounce further down from here. Um, but let's take a look over one hours as well. And yeah, over one hours, we're still above the we're still above the 500 EMA on the on the one hour candle. So um, looking all right. Let's have a look at the uh, indicators. Let's just have a look at maybe the MACD and just have a little look at where we are overall. Have a look at MACD. Get a checking up as well. So looking on the MACD, we're sort of way below the signal line here, uh, over one hour candles. Um, just starting almost to flick up actually. You can see it's maybe starting to return above the 26 moving average. Uh, on the histogram you can see the momentum is picking up slowly. I mean the candles are starting to decrease back towards uh, the signal line here. So um, fairly okay there. On the RSI just dipped into the overbought region so we've snapped back now into the channel so momentum is picking up a little bit and um, generally looking like it's downtrending momentum but we could start to pick up uh, shaking money flow indicator however is showing that selling pressure is increasing um, and usually this is a good indicator ahead of time um, to give you an idea of how the trend is doing and it, it seems like this trend is a little bit weak right now over one hour candles um, over four hours over a broader range um, looking a little bit better on the shaking money indicator. Generally, trend is increasing towards the signal line. RSI is actually flicking up as well, but MACD is still showing uh, a bearish, uh, bearish signal here. Um, so a little bit of a mixed signal, really. It's going to be a bit difficult. Maybe um, if this bearishness can continue for whatever reason, um, then perhaps we might even bounce back to here. We could have a head and shoulders form almost between. Um, sort of the neckline around the sort of 993 sats mark um, so we sort of headline shoulder go further down and, and if so you know maybe oh, maybe the support region here so around the 968 sats mark all the way down to the 861 sats mark might be um, 
a sort of key support area if we do break through that and if the head and shoulders happens it's more than likely we'll continue in this sort of falling wedge um, alternatively we could find support of this new region and start breaking out but we're going to need to see a change of sentiment and right now it seems like a lot of effort is being made to drive down the market um, we've just had a few good news Bitcoin in particular and um, with the TA we did yesterday is looking really bullish over the next few weeks to a month so uh, we're expecting big volatility in the market as, as, as we always do towards the end of the year um, so it'll be interesting to see how this asset does Within the next few weeks, it'd be nice to see uh, Cardano finally break free of this pattern and, and push on. Um, looking at the roadmap, we've uh, they've just released the new sort of the Cardano testnet and the Shelley testnet is now in development and they've already they've just updated I think the Ourobo uh, Ouroboros um, open delegation uh, state sort of proof of stake delegation. So um, so there's a few things coming. I think the next roadmap announcement is in nine days, so around October fourth. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if that has any effect on the price or you know if, if things can go really one or two ways from there. Um, so yeah, for the full TA guys, we'll be checking out some price targets and all the rest of it. Head over to CryptoVest.com, link will be in the description. And yeah, please like and subscribe. Thank you.